Joining us now, Michael Stramanis, the founder of Advanced Nutrients. Michael, thanks for Skyping in. And what is your position on this? Do you agree that this provision in this spending bill undermines the will of the people of the District of Columbia? Absolutely does. It clearly will. Obviously, the Columbia are more important to legalize it, and it should be legalized. Now, Michael, you say decriminalizing marijuana allows a sin tax on its purchase. What does this mean, and what would the money from this tax go towards? Well, look, a lot of the people more opportunity for taxation and helping our schools and God knows our schools need it today We're, we've been slipping in uh, national standards uh, worldwide for years now and uh, we need help and this would be a great way to uh, to help the schools out we got about six minutes left in our discussion and we really appreciate you skyping in all the way from Bulgaria by, by the That's way, right. this Bulgaria, I'm, I'm European officer. Uh, <laughs> a, a, as you're there uh, in Europe, uh, what are what are the rules on pot or the laws on pot in Bulgaria? Well, the laws on pot are currently it's illegal. However, the current government is looking at medical marijuana, especially for for cancer patients. And we're working here. We have an initiative called Medical Marijuana Bulgaria, and we actively are pursuing and are engaged in making medical marijuana legal here in Bulgaria. Now, Michael, you say making pot illegal has led to overcrowded prisons, high crime rate, you know, the high cost of the war on drugs. Is its legalization a slippery slope, do you think? Well, no, not really. If you consider it, because legalization and medical marijuana is now active in all these states, it's saving the American taxpayers between 10 and $14 billion a year because of the lack, because of, we don't have to enforce all these uh, marijuana prohibition laws. Uh, and that 10 to $14 billion is also including the, the turn current tax revenues that are on the Well, Michael, the books the Michael, you know the counter argument. People say, yeah, the, the tax revenue looks very inviting, but no. still there are laws on the books, even in a place like Colorado, not with the sales specifically, but with the abuse in much the same way that alcohol, driving under the influence. Prosecutors in Colorado said there has been an appreciable spike in, uh, in uh, having to bring people in. So the question becomes, is it a net gain for the public in terms of revenue as opposed to enforcing uh, DUI laws and some of the threats on the highways from driving while impaired? Well, actually, statistics have shown that in states like Colorado and Washington, the actual uh, rate of incidence has gone down when in, in, in regards to, let's say, drug addiction and overdoses. It's actually making the states safer. And of course, look, anything with alcohol or marijuana, if you're intoxicated with either one, you know, you should suffer the consequences, clearly. And laws are the laws, and they're meant to protect the people. And there's going to be a learning curve as we go through this. This is very new for America, and we don't exactly have it right. Uh, quite yet, but it will be. I mean, it just takes time. Now, following up a bit on what you and J.D. were just discussing as far as additional revenue streams, I know here in Florida, we passed the lottery, which was supposed to go to schools and education, which it did, but what they did in, instead is take away original funding. So it didn't actually produce additional funding. It replaced other sources of funding and then was diverted elsewhere. What are the potentials for abuse like that, and how can we make sure it actually becomes additional funding for schools? Yeah, that's a great question. I mean, obviously we want the money to go where it's been allocated to. But hey, politics is politics and <laughs> things happen. And sometimes we just don't have control over it, no matter how good our intentions are. We'll just have to see how this thing plays out over time. Uh, Michael, continuing, and, and some would assail this as a counter argument by anecdote, yet you can't dismiss the issues, especially when you're talking about funding for education through the sale and the uh, the legalization of marijuana. Uh, a case earlier this year in Berkeley, California, of a young person bringing brownies to school, sickening a lot of their fellow students, and then just yesterday in another public school uh, offering a teacher a bite of a, of a brownie with pot in it. Uh, and so it, when it extends into the schoolyard, into the classroom, there are a lot of folks that say, hey, you know, this this is a little too much. Yep. So does alcohol, so does cigarettes. They extend themselves directly into schools. And and that is a good thing that funding is going 
from the taxation of marijuana into schools because clearly now they can use that to better educate students and make sure that these type of things don't happen. Uh, you, you spoke of your initiative internationally there in Bulgaria yeah. for medical marijuana and certainly right. Uh, in the space of my time in the U.S. Congress and covering this story, for example, I, I know a rather conservative uh, Republican state legislator in Maryland, very strongly behind medical marijuana. But isn't medical marijuana just the first step to broaden out to uh, more widespread and free usage? No, I think actually medical marijuana is just what it is. It helped a lot of people. And then they, people decided to take it a step further. Personally, I think anyone who uses marijuana is medicating in some form. You know, people come home, they have a drink when they, well, you know, when they sit down. Some people prefer to have a joint. So it's a stress reliever. So, Michael, according to DrugSense.org, over half of all drug arrests, 750,000, they're saying, were for cannabis. I mean, this seems like a huge amount of money we're spending to criminalize this and to put these people behind bars, prosecute them. So we'd be saving that in addition to the revenue stream we're generating. Got a minute to answer, Michael. Got a minute. Go ahead, sir. Okay. As I said earlier, yeah, we're going to save between 10 and 14 billion a year just because of what you said there. And you're absolutely right. It, it is going to relieve a huge tax burden off the American public. You know, it's curious. Clearly, this is a great thing. Staggering numbers. Staggering numbers mm -hmm. brings to mind John Steinbeck, who wrote Of Mice and Men, we're having a discussion of mathematics and marijuana. <laughs> uh, we very much appreciate sharpening the pencils, talking about what's going on in Colorado, talking about your efforts uh, internationally. Michael Stromiatis, we very much appreciate it. Now, you heard Thank what you Michael... Right, hey, it's great to have you, sir. You heard what Michael had to say. You legalize pot, you can fund education. Do you agree with that? Why don't you tweet me your response at Newsmax TV, hashtag America's Forum. There's also NewsmaxTV.com slash comment. And don't forget Facebook. America's Forum continues following this Newsmax Now update.